10 years ago, she wasn't always like that. And that's where my act of forgiveness had to come in. Because as you can understand, I was very, very angry. I was upset. I was irritated. I was everything you can be as a young person, having a parent battling a demon that ultimately I didn't even understand. All I thought was, Mukuma say sua, you know? And fast forward to having to forgive my mom. I don't know if you saw me, and Tanisha's here, she used to write a lot of articles about me back in the day. Miss Soweto, second princess. Or runner up in the modeling competition. Or second place by Miss Sundance. And if you listen to all of those things, I was always second and almost. I was never winner. And then it dawned on me. I can't walk into any place and expect to be number one where when I walk in, this is what they see. They see a young girl carrying anger, carrying disappointment, carrying resentment on her shoulders. So she's brilliant. Yes, she is. But she looks, say, stuck at Vanselopsua. You think you look like this to people. And yeah, sometimes you do. But ultimately, this that you carry will always shine through. And so the day I decided I will forgive, I forgave for myself. Because the thing with carrying around anger, resentment, disappointment is the person that did the thing to you sometimes, they don't even remember. But you are remembering every single day and you're carrying it with you every day. Have you, have you seen family feuds? If you sometimes go back to the family feud, they don't even know why they're fighting anymore. But you then the easiest way I could explain it to them, I was like, you see on a map of a rainbow nation of people? And I'm like, yeah. I was like, yes. I'm a little bit of all of that in one. So when you get me, you get a bit of others. You know, you get the spice, you get the intellect, you get the attitude, you get the prettiness. I mean, come on, if there's going to be Because as you can understand, I was very, very angry, I was upset. 
upset, I was irritated, I was everything you can be as a young person, having a parent battling a demon that ultimately I didn't even understand. All I thought was, we're going to say swell, you know? And fast forward to having to forgive my mom. I don't know if you saw me, and Tanisha's here, she used to write a lot of articles about me back in the day, Miss Soweto, second princess. Oh, runner up in the modeling competition. Oh, second place by Miss Sundance. And if you listen to all of those things, I was always second and almost. I was never winner. And then it dawned on me. I can't walk into any place and expect to be number one where when I walk in, this is what they see. They see a young girl carrying anger, carrying disappointment, carrying resentment on her shoulders. So she's brilliant. Yes, she is. But she looks as a stupid and she looks well. You think you look like this to people. And yeah, sometimes you do. But ultimately, this that you carry will always shine through. And so the day I decided I will forgive, I forgave for myself. Because the thing with carrying around anger, resentment, disappointment is the person that did the thing to you sometimes, they don't even remember. But you are remembering every single day and you're carrying it with you every day. used to be the Skinner Praiki of every other auntie because I'm a 
Was is my auntie? And she came from, mm, it's shame, Sister Lori, Allah, and whatever. And now, I am me. But it was a journey. It took a long time to get here. And there's still a lot of the journey that's going to happen. And ultimately, you have to just believe in yourself and have faith in your God. That's it. That was the easiest. That's the only things that I ultimately did for myself. And the third thing that I found out early on in life, which was my bonus, was respect your elders. Oof, the youth don't always want to hear that one. Respect your elders. If you go find out in the Bible, if you look in the Bible, do you know how blessed you are if you know how to hear your father in your mother? The one thing about that scripture that you don't know, it doesn't say, hear your successful father, hear your mooi ma, hear your... No. It says, honor your father and your mother. There's no prescription to when you honor them or how you honor them and what they are being the equation of how you honor them. Once I understood that even though my mom was the drug addict, but I'm a fan skinner, I still had to respect her. She was still ultimately my mother. And you need to understand that as young people especially. Hear your father, hear your mother. Have respect, trust yourself, but ultimately trust God's plan. Thank you. So, so firstly, uh, um, you are so great. I think that we, 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 we all agree. Uh, for me, I don't have questions, I have a few statements. Uh, I think I interviewed you for the first time during your reign. Yes. Huh? Yes. Um, and then I was, I was kind of enlightened and surprised by the, the, the fact that you were, you were uh, a lot smarter than I expected you to be. That's the truth, and that's my crime. And as a man, even in Women's Month, I will take my burn for that. But I want to I wanna also be, be, be extremely honest, because it's, it's those moments that, that help men be better, um, and not judge a book by its own, um, num number one. Number two, uh, I'm usually impressed by, and I think that this is such an important quality, um, but your, your consistency, uh, not only in terms of your, your work, but your consistency of character. So whenever I see you, you're the same person. Uh, I follow you on all the social media stuff, um, and I love, I think my favorite post of, of, I've been following you for now three years, my favorite post that you ever did was, you had, I think you had rollers in your hair, and you were here in the break somewhere, and you were like, hey guys, I'm getting my hair done, you know, Stephen, it's not about, like, I'm here, I'm in Elders, I'm getting my hair done, and if you are in the rounds, pull him, come and say, how are you? I've never seen a Miss South Africa in the history of Miss South Africa post a picture A with Rollins and B with South Africa. Consistency, and I think that, that many people undervalue the importance of consistency, uh, particularly when attached to, to, to successful individuals. Um, and, and the final thing that I want to say is thank you for, for having the light. So I don't know if you were here when I was talking about the light. Like, I, don't wanna, I don't want people to, to have to use their words to sell me, uh, to, to sign up for the thing that they believe in. I want their actions, their positivity, the way they live their lives uh, to, to, to be that. And, and you are a, the perfect example of that because the light shines on your face, it really, really does. So I think one more round of applause, ladies and gentlemen.
doesn't do that in ordinary life. The reason why I ask that is for a lot of the young ladies that's in our community do not know this self well. mm -hmm. Same as with guys. They do not know or understand the self -work. In your closing, sir, you mentioned that there's greatness in all of us. But the tangibility, if we look here, we've got three famous people in the room. This in particular, I'm a monitor, I count in my profession as well, from our community. And I could only have but achieve that through God's grace, but also certainly because I knew myself well and I knew what I was capable of doing. I knew that from the very young age. And that was one of the turning points in my life. So in everything that you guys have mentioned, sir, was knowing yourself to me, yourself uh, critical in who you are today. Yes, thank you so much. I think ultimately it's it's even the way I started um, when I when I started the talk is I knew that I was born to stand out from a young age. And like you said, that self-worth, that's knowing that you're meant for greatness, you're meant to do something bigger than who you are. And that's always been my motto. It sounds a bit cliche to a certain group of people. I know everybody, I see people sometimes in a crowd roll their eyes at it. But ultimately, if you believe in you, it's on you. You know what I'm saying? If you create a list of, I'm gonna one day do this, that, and that, and you happen to say it out loud, it needs a laugh for you, or they roll their eyes, that's on them. Don't let other people's lack of understanding, lack of their self-worth project onto you. I know a lot of us walk around saying, yeah, one day I'm gonna be famous, or one day I'm gonna be a doctor, but because other people laugh at you, you take away from that. Your point of reference and the things you want for you is only about you. I think if we learn that as well, because it's one thing having self-belief, knowing that you're made for greatness as well, but then having the courage and the strength of saying, even if you laugh, even if you think it's funny, even if you think I'm crazy to say that I'll one day travel the world, that's on you, because your brain can't fathom the fact that I'm saying I'm gonna go to New York one day. That's on them. If somebody laughs at your dream, you don't change your dream. You don't take away from yourself. You keep understanding what you want for you, and ultimately what they say about you has got absolutely nothing to do with you. You trust yourself. I absolutely agree, and perhaps to, to, to echo or even to, to, to summarize, uh, it's a very cliche statement, but I think when you, when you embrace it uh, and understand it, so to directly answer your question, uh, my turning point didn't come from knowing my self-worth. The turning point comes the day you stop giving discounts on your worth. So, so it's, it's the day you accept nothing less. It's one thing to know that you're worth one rand, uh, but, but broke times when you accept 50 cents, and I think a lot of us kind of go through that. But it's the day you stop giving this, I'm going to be like that, I'm going to be a beacon of hope, I'm going to understand what this platform is for me, not for somebody else, for me then you do it. But either way, you need to know what you're walking into and you need to have a plan when you do it as well.